Hello, True North team. This is Christoph with Kaiserworks with an update to two projects, Pizza Silos and the hostel or hotel that's located to the north and east of the 9th Street Church. I'm going to walk us through the Pizza Silos first with a plan and then also a digital model that we've created. Um, our building uh, footprint is 1,343 square feet. Similar to what we presented previously, the entry is central. Um, coming through these glass doors into an entry area. This is where you'd be received by a hostess that would take you into one of two symmetrical rooms. Um, these rooms we've done, I think, a good job of keeping these very pure. They each have an arced table that has a flat end or a flat side on the south that backs up to this volume that, that um, pokes into the room that contains all of our back of house and service uh, program. The pizza oven is at the back of this scene, so whether you're a pedestrian on the street or passing by in a car, it is that the warmth and glow and the activity of the fire and also the people that are doing um, food prep in this central area that, that is really the jewel of the project and it, it pulls your eye into that energy. Tucking around to the sides, we have the less theatrical um, back of house, dish pit, refrigerator, dough prep, and pizza prep table. On the east side, we're tucking our ADA accessible and one standard bathroom. Um, and then one, one update we still need to make, we're still showing the chairs um, perched up against this glass, where what we're proposing now is this is fixed but actually curved glass. We've actually priced this with a number of companies and believe we can do this cost effectively. Um, so this would become bistro tables, a single two-top bistro table with chairs facing each other that would wrap this versus the chairs that are looking in. And this is more about being in these, um, these central dining tables and looking up into that silo space. I'll take us now to a digital model that we've made to test this. And zooming into this on axis shot we have our pizza oven that again draws your eye in you would have these two tables which if I stand a little bit taller you can see we have these two tables that are um, sort of the hub of both of these spaces and then we have an alcohol enclosure we're showing double two tops lining that but there could be different configurations for that and then what we're not showing here would be the bistro tables um, as they fit we would have that wrap um, wrap these outside edges and then coming into the space, um, you again have that pizza oven that sits at the backdrop of this, the engine of, of, this, uh, of this restaurant. And then turning in to one of these tables and then into the central space. So looking up here, we have this pure cylinder meeting the cone, meeting the oculus. And then on the top of these volumes, we would be lobbing air into the space. We would also be uplighting. So I think all the things you can't see here um, would, would accommodate a lot for us to try to keep this space very, very pure. But we're seeing this as, a, as an uplit form um, to keep it very sculptural. And then here you can see the view looking from one space into the other. And you can just imagine this filled with the sounds of people talking and enjoying them, enjoying the evening. And then looking back out here, we would see um, the orchard or you know a bosque of trees that's surrounding this entire scene, and then the church beyond. And then next, I'm going to take us to the Airbnb plan. And uh, on the left here, we have the, the ground floor Airbnb plan. And we have managed to work in 12 twin rooms and nine double rooms. Um, and we're showing, on each floor, we are showing three standard showers and one ADA accessible shower um, with toilets that flank that on the other side of a um, five station wash basin. So if this is the first floor, um, the second floor actually mirrors that plan in the same way. So this could be divided male, female, you know male on the first floor, female on the second floor, vice versa, or these could be all unisex depending on how we want to do that. Um, but again, walking into the entry here, we have a small entry vestibule and a maintenance closet that's tucked off to the side. Every room, we've succeeded in having every room have one window to the outside. Um, we've also talked about some of these being bunk, so this um, our, our double rooms, which we have nine, or sorry, the the, the twin rooms, which we have 
12 of could be bunk beds as well, and that would double, double that number, obviously. Um, again, coming past that entry vestibule area down to this hall, here we have another exit, and on the second floor, um, same entry point, and you come around here and exit this way. So the one variation is that we have a larger room on this corner um, because of the need for this, this uh, egress point. We need two means of egress on the second floor. So that was a quick run through. We look forward to your thoughts on this. Thank you.